My name is Laura Hobbs and I'm the proud executive director of Carolina Ballet Theatre. We're excited to be performing in Greenville and we've been moving audiences since 1972. Many are surprised to know that Carolina Ballet Theatre even exists, that Greenville has a professional dance company, uh, but we're a resident company of the Peace Center and when our dancers aren't performing in the Peace Center or rehearsing, they're out in the community working with outreach programs in local schools, um, thanks to Metropolitan Arts Council and Smart Arts and um, different teachers in the Greenville school system. As a professional dance company, these dancers actually live and work and are employed by Carolina Ballet Theatre. So this is their blood, sweat and tears 24-7 and um, we're just so proud to have them. We have such a mix of dancers. Um, they come from different countries, different states, and then some are homegrown right here in South Carolina. But uh, we're proud to have our artistic director, Aaron Anusto, who's from Argentina. And his wife actually came from the Washington, D.C. Ballet. Um, she was a nominee for Benoit de la Dance recently, which I mentioned to you. That's a synonymous to the Oscars in the world of dance, and she was one of six ballerinas nominated worldwide and the only American. So that's something that I always share with people that don't know a lot about Carolina Ballet Theater because it speaks to the talent level that we have right here in the upstate. Talking about Aranon is something that comes naturally because he's such a passionate, fun person to work with, and he's been on many international tours, as has Anita. Um, they met while they were on tour, and uh, they're just a wonderful couple to work with. He um, inspires all of the dancers and me, and every time I watch the dancers perform his choreography, I get chills. We have two fundraisers a year. One is Emerald Evening, and the other is Bourbon Barbecue and Ballet. And you're catching me right as we're about to have Bourbon Barbecue and Ballet, so I'm very excited to talk about it. Um, we're, we're going to perform a live brochure. And what a live brochure is, is a vignette of each performance in the upcoming season. Um, so we're very excited to be dancing for, um, for our patrons. We do have a website and we would encourage you to visit us there. It's www.carolinaballet.org. Uh, you can learn quite a bit about our season and the different ticket packages that we offer, subscriptions. The School of Carolina Ballet Theater is not just for children, it's also for adults. And we encourage you to uh, get in touch with us and sign up to take some adult jazz, adult ballet, uh, or even to bring your child in for kinder dance and the other classes that we provide. But I have seen the dancers progress in their talent and um, they just seem to be getting better and better every year. It is a grueling job to be a dancer and it's a lot of rehearsals. It's a pittance as far as income, so you really have to love what you're doing.